Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my spook streams. I hope you all have been having a good day. Um, my day has been meh, but you know, it, it some days are like that. Um, do I have any announcements? Yes, technically. Hey, Yvonne. Technically, today I am starting a new game today, so that is a new, an announcement. We're starting Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Um. Uh, let's see here. Other than that, let's see here. Tomorrow I will be joining uh, Melador219 and a few others uh, in either Phasmo or Forewarned. I don't remember which, but it'll be tomorrow night around... It'll be tomorrow night around... Uh... Shit. Uh, I think he said... Hold on, let me let me check the message. Uh, cause brain no work. Eight p.m. Eastern, so seven Central, eight an hour before now, <laughs> tomorrow. Um. Also, Yvonne is going to be doing something really stupid tomorrow. You check her out. Actually, do seriously check her out. She's she's great, and it's not actually that stupid. I'm just. She and I are just really close in real life, and I neg her all the time, and she negs me all the time, because we love each other, because friendship. So actually, do check her out. But anyway, um... <laughs> but anyway, uh... My brain... I hope my internet uh, sticks out. Um, it was causing some... It was... If you You may have noticed that it disconnected twice before i actually went live live um so the reason why it took me so long was i was waiting to see if it was going to go out again um so we'll see what happens um cross your fingers and whatever i don't know um also i have taken some tylenol but i have a bit of a headache so i might be a little bit more i might be a little off a little more off than usual um so you know just just so y'all are aware uh keep be kind <laughs> um think is there anything else no well, not really i mean kind of yeah if you go to my link tree down below, you'll see a uh, you'll find links to my socials and stuff like that. But also in there is a link to my Patreon where you can support me directly if you so choose. If not, it's OK. It's whatever. I appreciate you regardless. Um, so, yeah, before we actually get started with uh, the new game today, um, the uh, content warning for today. <laughs> It's a, uh, it's a spicy one, uh, by which I mean, it's the one that I've had that is the longest content warning, uh, that I think I've had on a Spookamist stream to date. Uh, so yeah, if any of these things are a problem item for you, that's okay. I love you. Take care of yourself. Do what you need to do to take care of yourself. And if that means not watching my stream, I appreciate you uh, tr wanting to stick around, but take care of yourself. I, I, It is more important for you to take care of yourself than for you to watch my stupid, silly stream. Um, watch my stupid ass on a silly stream is what my brain was trying to say. Anyway, um, so yeah. It's a spicy meatball, big spicy meatball up here in the corner. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, do I have anything else? No. Let's get started. All right. Uh, play game. Yes, play game. Yvonne, I do hope that you managed that you stick around at least until you can't anymore. Or not. Okay. I 
I mean, if you can't, you can't. It, it just, you know, it's a spicy meatball. Uh, all right. Uh, subtitles. Okay. Uh, we want this on that. Uh, can you tell this is an old, an old game? And a restart will need to take effect. That's okay. We'll worry about that in a second. Um, okay. Exit. Yes. Yeah, like I said, it's a spicy meatball. A spicy, spicy meatball. Um, hold on just a second. I have to... Um... Okay. Oh, wrong button. Uh, 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 oops, there we go. Okay, hold on. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, can you tell I haven't done shit with this game yet? Oh, God. All right, we are waiting on on Nvidia on Nvidia uh, GeForce to get its shit together so that I can open it. So we're just gonna chill for a bit. Internal screaming face. Um. So what'd you do today, Yvonne? That you're comfortable talking about live on the internet? Oofta? You did oofta? How does one do oofta? Didn't do much. Got a birthday cupcake for Howie. Awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Fair, fair. <clears throat> um. Today, you may see my. Uh, oh, hold on, let me. Hide the content warning. You may see, you see my cowboy, my Jason's cowboy hat. Oh, my picture's on. Uh, my my uh, poster's on an angle. Anyway, I'll worry about that another time. But you see my Jason's cowboy hat back there. I shoved that in the freezer today. Um, <laughs> because it was starting to get a little ripe. Um, so I shoved that in the freezer so that it would uh, clear the, uh, clear the stench. Um, yeah, it was getting to the point where when I wore it last session, I actually started to feel a little, like, faint because I wasn't getting, like, clean oxygen. <laughs> it's a little ripe. Just a little. Um, I also took the, uh, I also took the co uh, cover for my head from my headphones and put them in there too because they start to do that it is a problem but you know the science behind it is that uh the st that stench comes from bacteria from the buildup of sweat and stuff and uh so yeah you put it in the fridge that to kill that bacteria so that doesn't cause a stench anymore so yeah so i shoved it in a, shoved it in my freezer right over here with these. Well, not the actual headset, but the cloth coverings. Okay, so NVIDIA is back up. And now we reopen Amnesia. Oh, excuse me. 
put that back on and dump my ass back over here. Uh, <laughs> Come on game or OBS actually, please OBS. There you go. All right, now we were here. Come on. Oh. Damn it. I pushed the wrong button and wasn't paying attention. That's on me. My bad. All right. Who's an idiot? Me, I am an idiot. Okay, fine. Hard mode, no, normal. Uh, yeah, start new game. Memento has been added to your journal. For quick access to your mementos, press M. Journal is J. Make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Okay. Now, before we get into this, um, graphics. We'll save and exit so we don't have to go through his little monologue again. <laughs> I just got an achievement. I, <laughs> uh, I just got an achievement on Steam called Nope. Uh, all caps, just NOPE, and the achievement is LEFT WHEN THINGS WERE GETTING INTERESTING. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's restart the game. <laughs> just NOPE! <laughs> I love that that's the first achievement I got for this game. <laughs> Select. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, this game starts out with a few warnings at the start. Um, I was trying to get them to re to uh, 
to uh, replay uh, when I open when I open the game, but they don't apparently. Um, hold on, I I also need to alt tab because the game is very loud. Uh, let me let me turn the game down for myself. All right. Um, but the uh, one of the warnings that the game starts out with is this game is, is basically this game is not going to is do not play this game to win basically um which you know it's a good start uh hold on uh how does it start out I want to see if I can find them online um, without spoiling myself on things too much. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything like that, uh, anything about those. But basically, it's like there's like four, three or four pages and of uh, of uh thing well not pages um three or four things that it pops up with before actually getting you to the main menu and it's uh uh one of them is do not play this game to win and things like that <laughs> all right let's uh yes we'll keep going from where we were previously at all right now, just to be clear, with me moving the mouse around, I want to make sure that you that the stream looks okay. Does it look fine? Oh, you can lean. <laughs> Wee. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, does it look okay? Does the does the game look okay? Okay, so you can pick up and throw things. Cool, cool, cool. There's a door there. Can I open you? Oh, I can't open you. Okay, so it's a more physicy physicsy. The door will open when you move it, push it open, type of thing. Oh, a tinderbox. Can I? The flame. Okay, it looks fine. Cool. Anything behind the curtain? No? No, okay. I'm just gonna take this with me. Um... No tinder boxes left. Okay, well, I that was a waste, but that's okay. Okay, so things I know about this game, right? Uh, in this game, there is an insanity. Uh, there it is. Um, you have an ins a sanity meter in this game. Uh, and things will start looking a little bit wonkier the less sane you get. Uh, and it has something to do with the darkness, I think? I don't remember for sure. Um, also, as far as my knowledge of this game, I have not played this game before. I have, however, seen it, seen like the first hour-ish of it played on YouTube a couple of times. I don't remember, I don't, I didn't, wasn't paying enough attention to, you know, remember everything constantly. So this is still a whole fresh experience, but still. All right, an oil for a lantern. There's my journal, etc. Okay, and that was tab to get that. Okay. All right. So, oh, excuse me. Okay, big door over there. What's in here? Another candlestick. A bit of a cave-in. Another candlestick. So there's two candlesticks here. Three, four. Bed that up. We follow the blood. Oh, God. 
Things are going wonky. I got the sneeze. Achoo! Excuse me. God damn. All right, can I just like? So that's a no. I can't just leave. Damn. Oh well. There we go. Um, Tinderbox. Come on. Yep, I'm just gonna live here now. <laughs> I live here now, guys. No, um, all right, let's go. Uh, we'll leave that open. No, we weren't raised in a barn. We close the doors when we're not using them. All right, so game wants me to go that way. Blood is going that way. What's in here? Oh, another tinderbox. Yes, please. And the broom. Can we clean up some of this blood? I'm taking the broom with me. It is hella dark. Okay. Another tinder box. Can I drink it? Nope. Damn. All right. Uh, how many tinder boxes is that? Three. Okay. You know what this game kind of reminds me of, like the layout of it and stuff? It reminds me of like old classic. Um, <laughs> uh, oh shit, what's it called? Um, here, we'll put the broom back. Um, cl close, close, the, thank you. And that, okay. Uh, old classic, like, uh, Oh, fuck, what are they called? Uh, point and click styled games. You know? With the the way the menu is laid out and all of that. That's what it kind of reminds me of. That said, I don't remember when this game comes out uh, or came out. Uh, Yvonne, do you happen to remember when this game came out? Uh, not remember, but could you look up when this game came out, please? Because I don't remember. I can tell by the graphics it looks like it's around the time that Skyrim first came out, but... I don't remember for sure. Thank you. <laughs> Danny, are you okay? Danny, are you okay? Danny, are you okay, Danny? Twenty ten. Yeah, I think that, if I remember correctly, that is around the point in time that uh, Skyrim did first come out. So yeah, that looks about right to me. Do 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 do. -do. Do 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 do. Do I have your sword? Do you have a sword? No, you don't have a sword. Okay, fine. Another tinder box. Cool. I have a slight headache. Can I jump? I can jump. Anything in here? If I am. Yeah, this does feel very like a, like, like a, uh, Skyrim horror mod almost. Thing? Okay. 
All right, so blood is leading me that way. This door opened though, so let's... Beware, when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinderboxes or search for other sources of light. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Look at all this Renaissance art, man. right here with his ass out <laughs> probably not those are probably just pants like yellow pants or something okay um oh i didn't close these doors hold on i was not raised in a barn The old archives. A fragrant taste of, a, of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. Danny, are you okay? Are you okay, Danny? Whee! Okay. God, it is hella dark. Hold on. Let me see if I can't. Uh, let's increase. Mm. Mm. I guess we'll be fine. If I remember correctly from the little bit I've heard about this game, uh, there's like four possible endings. Through the door, my dude. You know what, I'm gonna I don't think it was mine this time. Um, did you get like a blue screen that uh, the disconnect blue screen? I wasn't paying attention. 
enough to know. Okay, if Twitch refreshed, then it was probably yours. <laughs> but I could be wrong. Drafty old house. Drafty old house. Just to quickly check that there's nothing to loot in here. Nothing else to loot in here that was hidden. Nope, okay. I did dis I did disconnect briefly. Oh, well. My system is haunted. It's the spooks saying that I'm not supposed to stream today. Oh, I think I checked. Vindication. Vindication. I doing slight headache all is good okay okay fine onwards we go Check that in a second. Anything else around here? No? Okay, fine. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, <laughs> this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits, and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Danny, are you okay? Danny, are you okay? 
Danny, are you okay, Danny? Okay. Well. Up to be a murderer, the wonderful murderer of Oz. But um, but um, but um, but um, but um. But um, but um, but um. But um. We're off to do a murder, a wonderful murder of Oz. Do -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Oh, did we have a torch out in this way? Oh, I should have done that one. Oh well. It won't budge. Fascinating. Ha! <laughs> Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to something, 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 something. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Okay, so it was trying to get me to go down there, but I kind of don't want to do that yet. So let's explore. Nah, I'm sure that's fine. Wait, wait. It won't budge. Okay, fine. <coughs> Come on, pick it up. There you go. That goes to the archives. It won't budge. Ooh, another tinder box. Yes, please. Now, if I'm right, this will take me back where I was, more or less, though a different place. 
his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really going to do this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. Murder! Libri Rari. Libraria. Oh. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting <laughs> to take back to London and the British Museum. I was waiting for that. They work for the British Museum, so you know, thieves and all of that. Stuff like that. All right. And I'm out of oil. Okay, fine. The catalogi. Catalogi. Open the... Fine. It's in. Got it. Okay. Now then... Go for you. No tender boxes left. Of course not. That would be too easy. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break his seal. Uh, may no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Gret or Gret Gret whatever. <laughs> he better be unflinching. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, Inhale some of this delicious light. All right, do we have any tinder boxes or anything through here? No. No, anything? Right down there? No. Okay, let's move the chair. Door. Drawer. Drawer. Tinder box. Yes, please. Okay. Better. What child is this in my head? Dudium? I have no idea. It probably had to, has to do with the, uh, give me the damn chair. Um, 
with the uh, all the Renaissance art. May 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, <laughs> ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. Histo remix, don't loudly, you mean all history written by white language people? Getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Okay. Ah, no, I'm not going to use it on that. Or over there. What do we have here? Will, however, use it somewhere here. Right there. <laughs> What's funny about that breaking? Is I was literally about to yeet it against the wall. Uh, I was gonna, be, I was gonna pick it up, and be like, "Ooh, this looks valuable!" Yeet. <laughs> kind of like this. Ooh, this looks valuable. Yeet. Vibri <laughs> vet, vet, vet. Old tomes. Okay, fine. I would like some oil, please. Some oil, please. Some oil, please. It's a very dark place. Let's close that. I don't think I've been there. Interesting. Doors are locked. Okay. Oil! Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, right. I have to physically fill it. Old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. 
When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. They're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Question, by servants, do you mean servants or do you mean slaves? East Wing, Western Hall. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Ooh, and somebody's going ham on the piano. Oh, you hear that? All right. Um. Let's light this. Sorry, hold on, my headset's just, just disconnected. Okay. Uh. Danny, are you okay? 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh, right, I'm supposed to be moving here. <laughs> It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar, peculiar relic. relic. Okay. Pause there, because I just realized... I don't think I ever properly announced this. If you're in my stream... Go into the channel points thing and you will see a thing for bean boozling me. Actually, let me make sure I did actually make it. I think I did. Yes, bean boozle me. For a thousand channel points, you can make me eat a bean from my, this bean boozle box. And it, you know, a thousand channel points. You can make me eat a bean boozle. It could be a flavor, it could be any of the following flavors. Liver and onions, cappuccino, old bandage, pomegranate, dirty dishwasher, birthday cake, stink bug, toasted marshmallow, barf, peach, dead fish, strawberry banana smoothie, booger, juicy pear, rotten egg, buttered popcorn, Stinky socks, tutti fruity, toothpaste, or berry blue. So for just 1,000 channel points, you can potentially make me eat something disgusting. Now back to the to your uh, regularly scheduled programming. Come on, give me the drawer. That one too. Hook, hook. Box. Here. Look. Look. Yeah. 
Poquito. Anything over here? Kingdom of Prussia, Central Central Prussia. So both of these wall, these ways have collapsed in on themselves. Hold on, I have to, I have an itch. Okay. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. Well, what if I pick up a book and throw it? Yeah, probably not. Okay, so I need something like a crowbar or something, probably. Ah, ender box. Yes, please. of cock um, <laughs> why do I have the song in my fucking head now Guess it's better than uh, the other song. Uh, crowbar? No. Eh. That away, so I don't waste all my oil. Eh. Hmm. I'm missing something. Obvious, I feel. Let's try a chair. we go chair was the correct option okay you have to be swift when you activate the first one you hear that if it stops you'll have to start over isn't all this a bit excessive you can never be too careful, too careful Daniel. Daniel. you can never be too careful Daniel Danny, are you okay? Danny, are you okay? Danny, are you okay, Danny? Oil. Altstadt Brennenberg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore in is Altstadt. Deep within the Eastern Prus East Prussian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as it can be. Albeit, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales. 
but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got caught, uh, got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They, may, they move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling deep inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to bump the mic just then. A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alsat at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of, pa of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Wow. Wow. Door. Okay, so I came from that way. Door. Ah! Okay, where do I go, though? Because I'm pretty sure it's trapped me. She just fucking hiss at me. hissing at me. Eh. 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 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on, come on. Let me do it. No, no. Come on, let me do it. Let me do it. Please, please. I think I see what I need to do. Okay, let me get a chair. Get this chair. Come here. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. I'll hurt somebody with you. It's fine. Whoa, that was weird. Come on. Come on, let me in. button no a lever
There we go. Fucking hell. Distracted by what? Like, how dare? What's more interesting than my streams? Things you can't have, like... Wilhelm, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Excuse me. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Wherever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will fight. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both my problems. What things that you can't have, Yvonne? Clothing. Got it. <clears throat> Not me thinking that you were meaning something cheekier. Oh. And we are back. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm sure that's fine. Yes, please play the piano for me. How's my sanity? Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Fair. I wish I had some oil. Da, 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 da. <laughs> It won't budge. Right. I think I knew that. Okay, we've been in here, obviously. This goes back over here. Aww. Yep. Stop it. This is fine. <sighs> okay. Um. I think I cleared all of this? I don't think I did, honestly. What was this? Catalogai. The Librai Orari. Rare books. I've been. This was the catalogs, which I've been. Over here is entrance hall, which I came in. Okay, so I came in here, I checked that, checked that. Then I went over here. Went in here, checked these, all of this. This won't budge. In 
here. Let's get my sanity back to decent. A little bit. Um, and this is where... Right. Cold tomes. Oof. Yes. That is very dark. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Can I open you? No. Are right. you? Can I open you? Open! Thank you. God damn. Hey, look, oil. Yes, please. Yay, I'm not insane. I mean, I'm a little insane, but that's in the game. I meant in the game. Um. Oh, yet another tinderbox. Oh, okay. Now then, we came from that way. Um, study. I mean that it won't budge. Okay. Came from there. This. Okay. So this is where I solved that puzzle. Okay. 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 And this is that door that won't open for whatever reason. That's over here. Yeah, that way that comes. Okay, 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 okay. I'm seeing the floor plan. I'm seeing the floor plan in my head now. Vents are there, vents are there. All right. And this is blocked to fuck. Okay. Blacked to, blocked to fuck. Not the other thing. Not the other thing. The other thing is um. only if you're legal and consenting. Um boop -a -doop -boop, boop -a -doop, boop -a -doop, boop -a and back to the entrance hall. The desert dunes were like waves in a sluggish sea. While the caravan moved, the land appeared motionless, and I missed the rest of them. Yum. Ow. Okay. Well. Okay. Still don't want to go down there yet. Um, let's go this way. What's in here? More oil and another tinderbox. Cool, cool. Gimme, give gimme. Give Please? There we go. Um. I think I'm about to sneeze again. Excuse me. Oh, hiss, hiss. I really don't want to go down there yet. So, over here. Wine cellar and laboratorium. Okay. And what's down here? Fabrica refinery. Okay. Okay. 
You know what? I haven't looked at the journal in a second. Let's let's see what we got. Daniel's note to self, Wilhelm's contract. Okay. Diaries, we found those. Okay, I meant those. Okay. So I have to go to the laboratory to to uh, disintegrate the organic tissue. Oh, is there anything back here? Nope. Okay. Laboratory, wine cellar, laboratory, wine cellar, laboratory. A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down on the brim of his hat. He braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. Okay, how dark is it without that? Uh, let's put one of these on. The laboratory! Or whatever accent Dexter uses. Um... Sanity is just dot, dot, dot. Come on, grab the, thank you. And we'll just put that in there. relocation the lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients and in storage nah shit sherlock uh some seem unaffected but m many are stained by the fumes and will be s difficult to salvage i shall do what i can and move them to the wine cellar of course Cuprite to Aquaforce, or whatever it was that he just said. Come on, grab the box and move it. Okay. Um. Oh, chair. Oh. All right. Oh, hello. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love. I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power. Without restraint. Where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. So is that just the same thing? Yeah, okay. Early alchemy, alchemy experiment. This is, this is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. 
The former compounds lacked the potency I need. But I sense I'm close. Calamine and Orbimint. Orbimint? Orbimint. Are a given. And the Cuprite binds them well. This time, I will attempt Aqua Regia. Instead of Aqua Fortis. In, a te in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acidic and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissues react especially violently to the, to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. So this is probably where I need to bring the stuff once I have them. Okay, fair enough. All right, and nothing over there. Okay, back we go. Is anyone there? Yeah, I'll go ahead and light that, why not? All right, standing in the light, how am I doing on Tandy? A slight headache, I'm back to a slight headache. Okay, okay, could be worse, could be a lot worse. In fact, we were a lot worse for a bit. How am I doing on oil? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add that back in. Me or my character? Oh, the sanity? <laughs> The character. We all know my sanity's gone forever, and nothing's gonna bring that back that shit back. <clears throat> Use the key on the door. Zone's lab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. Beware when setting in darkness. Okay. Achoo! Excuse me. I don't know why I'm so sneezy all of a sudden. Thank you. find a torch pretty please pretty please pretty please pretty please okay so there are no lightable sources of light oh great there are enemies I will need to be hiding from good to know Excuse me.
Corpiment. That's one of them. Excuse me, hold on just a second. Actually, it's almost 10. Nah, we'll keep going, okay. Oh, did it just bring me back here? Okay, cool. All right, fine, fair enough. Okay, we have a door here. All right, hold on. All right, so there's okay, so um okay, so it was that top corner that I was in. Uh and I think I might have even gone down into that bottom right corner as well. Okay, so let's go in here. It's not nice to moan at people without their consent. All right, so we've been in those three uh, tools. important okay Boxes. Um, thing else in here. Thing up top. No. cuts and bruises on health that is pounding hands are shaking you know what let's actually light that save myself some oil I really wish I could pick up the candle and carry it around, you know? Okay.
Okay. That's that reset my sanity score. Okay. Now I have three of the four ingredients. Okay. I mean, fair. Open the, there you go. What's happening? Oh, I feel like my chest is going to burst. Oh. Y'all were poisoned by. My God, um, him do something. What's his face? Alexander. Except we're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> okay. Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to Castle Brennenberg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me, and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past, and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, it brought men, women, and children to Brennenberg. I brought, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenberg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I've had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer. Dot, dot, dot. All right, so let's do that. 
How am I doing? Crystal clear sanity, hell yeah. Alright, so I believe that's all four of the things I need, which means I can get the fuck out. And go up to the library. No, laboratory. The other la 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 la. It became impossible to avoid the commotion of in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. Oh, I had plenty of time. He sat down by the Casbah wall, gasping for air, and I was too slow for us because I got stuck on the word Casbah. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk. Thank you for sticking around as long as you could. I appreciate it. Slight headache. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, hey, I missed this before. Nice. All right. To the wine cellar we go. Although I don't want to do that yet, actually. Oh, shit. All right. Let's check the mementos. The stairs have collapsed. Find a way to climb back up. Okay. box on that um barrels that will help i'm sure up oh, there you go now we come over here grab this physics there you go good job okay now up here <sighs> fine danny are you okay danny are you okay danny, are you okay danny oh fuck me Ha! 
Okay. After enduring three days in Algiers, the sailboat blah 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 blah. Headed for London. Okay. Okay. So I came from that way, I checked that way out, I can't did that. I came from that way. Okay. And I can't go down here yet. Okay, fine. Oh wait, there's a door here. Oh wait, it's blocked. Right, I knew that. All right, okay, fine. Wine cellar we go, ow! Move. Annie, are you okay? To the refinery! Boss smelled of desert. Alright. I'm gonna do an oil. I'm very low on oil, so I'm gonna save that. Very it low sure on oil. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. I mean, you don't got a government name me. Daniel, call me Danny. Danny, are you okay? Are you okay, Danny? Danny, are you okay? Danny, are you okay? Are you okay, Danny? Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, crystal clear sanity. All right. Onwards we go. I wish I had another tinder box, but this shit is all it is right now. That's all I have. Okay. Fine. Oil! Perfect. Well, hold on. Let's see. Do we have any full canteens? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Alright. We can now see. Alright. Uh, tinderboxes? Yes, actually. Okay, I'll hold on to that for now. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, <laughs> Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. 
an excessive decision in retrospect, but I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Well then. Laudanum. Okay, how am I doing on health? A few cuts and bruises, I'm fine. Laudanum. Laudna! Oh, Laudna. I'm kind of sad that there's not a critical role this week, but also it gives me a chance to play uh, Basmo or Forewarned with Melodor. So, you know. All works out. Yes, please actually close the door. Yeah, 25th of June, 1839. I Ouch. feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know. Very important. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care, and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. You stop that. Let's just sit here for a second. Try to let our sanity stabilize a little bit. But actually... Hmm... Nah, let's not yet. Sanity still at three dots. Okay, good to know. Underbox, yes please.
Okay, so I've been through that door. Here. Okay, I've been in here. Oh, tinderbox, yes! Definitely need to. Yes. Okay. Um. All right, and I have been in here. Cause this is where. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. And then this, which connects to here. Connects to that. Okay, 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 okay. connects to here which connects to that and all of that over there okay cool 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 I'm thinking it's clogging the crank and pulley contraption okay uh tinder box have another one no Wouldn't it be nice if I had more tender boxes? God, ow! The fuck? Bitch! Alright, uh, how am I on health? A few cuts and bruises. Nah. Not oh, wrong thing. Alright, um. Too, lift, too heavy to lift by hand. Ow! Fucking stop it! Bitch! Okay, so don't stand on the fucking organic shit. Ouch. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a chest over here that I didn't open. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes, tinder boxes. Okay. Anything else that I didn't open? No, okay. So something is clogging this. That shit, maybe? Possibly. Probably. Alright, let's put a light in here. Um, one of these. Then back to here. Let's put a light in here. Do this one. Okay. Um hold on. Rope won't pull the hatch open, something must be clogging the pulley. Fine, but that doesn't help me. How am I on oil? Mm, I need to stop using it soon. So, physics puzzle. Come on, grab it. Bruh. Eh. 
Too far away. Okay, so let's get more. To be clear, this is still empty. Yep, yeah, okay. Nah. Into the thick of it. Ow! Pop that shit, that hurts. Yeah, wound is beating, bleeding quite badly, so let's heal up a little bit. Bitch. Cellar archives. This is one of those places that I knew was coming. I know how to solve it, and I, well, not how to solve it, but I know how to avoid the critter that's in the water. I don't necessarily know how to solve it, like the puzzles and stuff, but I do know how to avoid the critter in the water. Also, it's pretty straightforward. Something's in the water, you don't be in the water, you know. Hi. All right. Um. Can I pick that up? No? Okay. Alright, so while the music's gone a bit music-y, Jamie's gonna take a bathroom break, and we're gonna take a whole, uh, a whole ass break here. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna run an ad break and everything. Be back in a bit, y'all. Don't go anywhere.
All right, we're back. Sorry that took a bit longer than usual. I had to, I had some back, behind the scenes stuff I needed to do uh, before I could get back into this. So let's go. All right. This bitch is right here. Yeah, yeah. Laudanum only took me up one level, so let's go ahead and use it again. All is good. All right. Moving them. his head. Low. Bodies here.
hollow needle. Okay. What does this do? A strong surgical needle. Okay. <laughs> all right it's to clear sanity and only a few cuts and bruises all right cool 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 oh yvonne 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 Ivan, 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 Ivan. Ivan, 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 What? <laughs> um, I want you to see this. I want you to see this room that we're about to walk into. I promise it's not creepy. I promise it's not intentionally creepy. <laughs> Right? Now we'll ignore what's sticking out of that fountain over there. But, you know, look at the room, though. This is some nice, like, fantasy medieval architecture design here, you know? Because, like, you know, those are not real legs. Those are stone legs, I promise. See, the cracks in them and all that? Yeah. But, um, also... 
yeah, that that will um ignore. But um the rest of this is like some proper like you know? All right, you may retreat into your uh into your abyss. The weird penis baby throwing up. Yeah. Yeah, he's just like just over here like <laughs> Sharp penis baby. <laughs> well, when you're a penis baby, you do need to make sure to take uh, to protect yourself. Buddy. Dust room. Woohoo! Don't rage. Raji. Um, why do you think your computer is suffering? You could restart it. I mean, we, you and I both know what you need to actually do to your computer. But I fully understand why you don't want to do it. Because it's a whole mess and a half. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. An ascending room. How novel! An ascending room. Oh -ho. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, did I send you a link the other day? Um, about a way to easily reinstall certain programs and apps and stuff. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The machine room. No mementos available, okay. In a scenting room. Oh, how novel! Oh, how novel! An ascending room. <laughs> Fancy that! Let's go to the guest room first. The good old guest room. Whist. Whist room. This is another dream, he thought, and screamed at the top of his lungs. This is another dream! Ow. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Okay, real quick. Crystal clear and a few. Okay. Uh. <laughs> this looks fancy. at me you little bitch all right 
This goes to broken lock. Okay. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, if you're feeling better a bit later, uh, let me know about EXU. All right, crystal clear sanity and model of perfect model of a scientist salarian. Second of July, <coughs> I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert okay. or his men. Works for me. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they Good recovered night. from Herbert's tent at the customs house. Herbert. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Yeah, okay. Stop fucking hissing at me, you little prick. Okay, that's the broken lock. Um This is the back hall, okay. Okay, I think we thoroughly checked this room. <laughs> one. One. It's set in a period. A specific period. Two. This pretty sure this game was made by white men. And while you're not wrong, I f like I fully agree. <laughs> But yeah, they're not exactly talking shit about Africa, to be fair. They're talking stereotypes, which I guess is very much talking shit now that I think about it. But no, you're yeah, you're justified in your rage. Crowbar, yay. Anyway, you were going to call it. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th. The day I was trapped inside the orb. Yeah, basically. Herbert dry. Right, it wrong. Uh, actually, Daniel if you wanted to do research on the studio that made this game, you should actually do so. Because I, I'm making some assumptions, assumptions about them. Minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading. Yes, the good. Text. Turn off your computer Herbert before it melts. Facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration <laughs> into his. <clears throat> He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seemed <laughs> to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Interesting. My drawing room. Whoever last stayed in this guest hall, uh, this guest room made an absolute fucking mess. Like, how dare? You'll never catch me staying in Airbnb, staying in an Airbnb, leaving an Airbnb or a fucking, uh. Daniel. What just happened? What? Oh, Still uh, having nightmares, leaving I an see. Airbnb or, or a yes. hotel room or any or a friend's house or anything like that in this much of a mess. 
We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Okay. All right. Ready? Two, three. What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Still broken. Yes. Eh. Important key is hidden in the guest room. Fourth of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Machine room key. Uh, excuse me. All right, anything else in here? Maybe? No, I don't want to. Ooh, tinderbox right in front of my face. Let's go ahead and light that. Uh,. Anything else want to come off the walls, maybe? No? Okay. They have like only four, they have like 15 different portraits of all the, of the same, 15 different copies of the same four Renaissance paintings. Yeah, excuse me. So we've done the guest room. Now let's go to the study. Steady study. Alright. I was really torturing that poor dog in the background. The Bible and the Crucifix. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. 
to my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was, it was as it was told about. God, English is hard. An underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a, to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warm them as I passed, but fortunately, they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black, uh, had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as fear and as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground grasp, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Someday, sometimes, I lie awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. And that is why that guy claimed he was not there. Okay. Anything else to pick in here? No. No. There you go. All right. Where did I come from? Back hall? Back hall. Okay. Right.
man. Okay. doing too bad on oil how am i doing on cin cinder boxes three more okay oil cracked window panes are held together by a weak wooden frame okay Light. I'll leave that open. I don't want to go in there yet. Um, okay, so I don't have a choice but to go in there. Okay. Fine. Fine. That voice is of the Alexander guy we have to go kill. God, he's a, he's definitely an asshole. All right, all right, hold on. Okay. All right. The canine spine. Anatomy Frontiers, 1658 to January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain, since no research has been made in my particular interest. I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice, as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Well, if that was this guy and this guy is Alexander, we know that he does actually pay people to to kidnap people for him to experiment on. So, oh fuck! God damn. Okay. That was a good jump scare. That was a good jump scare game. Very good jump scare. That was a good jump scare. Well done. Well done. Only time that you've gotten a reaction out of me so far. Oof. -da. Well done. Okay. You know what? Hold on, give me one of these. <laughs> Come on, give me one of these skulls. Alright. It's gonna pop. Lol. Okay. Uh anything else in here? Does not the PSO. I think it wants me to have at least. At least not yet. To the main hall we go. So, 
William Smith has had been mocked. Okay. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. This way? I do not recall. Don't, we did not. Danny, are you okay? Danny, are you okay? Danny. Danny, are you okay? Danny, are you okay? Danny, are you okay? Danny. Um. Let us put a. Oh, what's it writing? Darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. Well, let's put a tinderbox there. Instrumenta. Okay. Well, on we go. Oh, wait. No. We have a key to the machine room. Let's go there first. Because if I remember correctly from the little bit I've seen, the machine room is somewhere you're supposed to go before you go to the storage. Be wrong about that, but... I still very much would rather go here first. Danny, are you okay? Danny, are you okay? Danny, are you okay, Danny? Tinderbox. Tinderbox! You spoil us, Mr. President. Precious. 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 Okay, fine. Like, getting in the... Uh-huh. It's fine. 5th of July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, <coughs> and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. And in Assassin's so Creed, Smith, their pieces the of meat. was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Hold on just a second, I have a message I need to send.
anyway sorry uh i just needed to send that message real quick uh before i forgot okay <clears throat> okay back to the machine room where are we oh wow i'm very close to that okay and i'm out of oil right okay okay Can't interact with that. Anything behind these? No? Okay. Ba-dum. Ba-dum. Ba-da-da-dum. That's the door I came in. Ba-da-da-dum. Na-da-dum. Na-na-na. Na-na-na. I could really use more oil. <coughs> Excuse me. Aha. A hole. Well, tinder boxes, I'll take them. Getting the light. I'm starting to my character is starting to freak out a little bit. Door panel over there? Um, is that? 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia, he said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice <laughs> a voice. Excuse me. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study room. In case all three would crack again. God. Uh, okay. So we need some rods. Do, but it not it wouldn't help with this. I have no idea if holding onto this gear is going to be useful or not, but um, I would love to have some oil, have some oil, have some oil. I would love to have some oil right about now. Ah, uh, okay. God, it's dark. Um, okay. That a yes. Okay, and there's a gear there. Pods, okay. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. 
Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. I mean, fair. All right, um, okay, so there was a cog here. Give me. There we go. That'll help being able to fucking see. All right. Um, is there another one over here? Anywhere? Oh, oh, yes. Perfect. Okay. How many more of those do I have? Three more? Okay. Um, I'm going to go grab that cog that I left in the thing. But first, before I do that, uh, we're going to take another break. Because uh, I got to pee again. <laughs> um, anyway, don't go anywhere, y'all. See you guys in just a bit. Okay, I'm back, and the game has decided to minimize itself. Give me just a second. Uh, okay. Come on. Come on, game. There we go. All right. Okay, so we were going to go grab that one... ...hog that I threw out here. There it is. All 
right, we have about half an hour left of the stream, more or less. Um, but in here. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Ender box. Anything else in here? Back here? No? Okay. All right. Cool, cool. Um. All right, so we still need one more. Use the lamps extra sparingly because this place is pretty well lit, to be honest. Making sure I haven't missed anything major. <coughs> Hold on, let me put a cough drop in my mouth so I'm not coughing the rest of the stream. You guys know how it goes with me. All right. And my goddamn allergies. Look a cog. Um, that's probably my third one. But now that I've got light in my lantern, which sounds a bit like a euphemism. All right, now. Blink. Needs more work before it'll run. Okay. This, what does this lever do? Nothing in the burner for it to ignite. Okay. I just like... Nope, okay. <laughs> Too easy. What about you? You're smaller. Nope, okay. Um... I just like... <laughs> I take it? No, that's not how that works. Okay, fine. Fine. Making sure there's nothing glowing for me to take. Okay. Alright, so I need to put something combustible in there. Okay. Next thing. Um, let's go to this level, this puzzle. Uh, yeah, it's this one. Uh, there it is. How many more? I have one more. Okay. How am I doing on sanity? Slight headache. Okay, could be worse. Much worse. Um. Maybe I'll throw a book in there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try that. Hold on. 
Can I just like put a book in the thing? Probably not. I feel like that would be too easy. Okay, fine. All right. Um, okay, so this needs more work, it says. Anything I could do down here? No. Okay. All right. Yep, yep, yep. I think I need to go up to the top. The tippy, tippy, toppy, top. Um, first, let's take a look at this. The trap. A track doc a track the track oh flow flow okay um anti flow okay I'm gonna use my last and make it a little bit less dark in here um all right up to the top we go up to the top of it up to the top of it. Up to the top of it. Bump. Okay. One. Six, four. Okay, hold on. Any hints, information here? No, okay. So the only thing I have is about storage. Pressure. Yep, I guess I do have to go to the storage room now. Okay, cool, fine, whatever. into the unnatural darkness of it. All right. Okay. Now then, we'll start here. What we got, what we got, what we got. Tinderboxes, yes please. Drill part.
like that. Menta. You know what? Let's click that too. All right. <coughs> okay. Um, so we went in there. We got a drill part. Um, right? Right. And drill. Machine part. Please let me go. I won't tell anyone. I swear. I just want to go home. No! Get away from me! Leave me alone! Come on. There's a door here. It won't budge. Okay. Hinder box. Roll from a cave in is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Probably a hand drill. Still won't budge. Okay. I do have another tinder box. I'm gonna hold on to it for now though. I want to have it for when I go in this way. How am I on oil? Not half. Fuck. On porch. Lantern. Something. Somewhere. Candle. Not good enough. Another candle. Also not good enough. Plenty of doors here. Candle. Oh. Okay. Primarium. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll do that. Okay. And now we go through this door. Damn it. Okay, how are we doing on time? 11.41. All right. Bricks. Yes. Anything back here? No. Okay. Aha. Tinderbox. Alexander, I have prepared the explosives you needed for clearing the floor, the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather-brained servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you are ready to go. Okay. Mix them into what? Okay, how am I on health? I'm good. Slight headache. Okay. Uh, let's add the oil. Lamp on, go, uh, keep the lamp lit. Another tinder box. Great. Another tinder box. Shit. Okay. Anything? Lore? Anything? Key items? No? Nothing? Okay. Not in here. Alright, hold on. Let's go over here by the secondary and light that. Alright, so we have lights next to the two important crate uh, barrels. We came from there. We did that, that also light up this room a little bit better how's that looking it's actually not that bad I mean it could be better um okay so we've been in there am I on oil I could be better okay
the crotch of it. Hand drill part, okay. Can't assemble the drill yet. Need more parts, okay. Back up to four, damn, okay. Just leaves this door. Final drill part. Okay. Wrong button. This is what I wanted. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. A small carpenter's drill. Okay. Can I put that on there? No. Can I put that on? Interesting. Oh, I see. Actually, oh shit, 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 shit. Sorry, I did actually forget something real quick. I will be right back. Sorry about that. I'm back. Okay. Alrighty. Um, is there anything else in here? No. Didn't look like it. Okay. Alright, so that just leaves... boxes in that room how you doing my dude how many do how you doing how was your stream
Good thing I picked up that tinderbox when I did. Shit. That's good, that's good, I'm glad. This game is horrifying. Have you played it before? Amnesia the Dark Descents, have you played it before? Is it my fault that delay is so long? Fair, 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 very fair. I'm at a great spot in it. I am in the machine sh uh, machine parts storage without any oil or tinder boxes. Going great. I have not seen a complete uh, a complete playthrough. I've seen a couple partial playthroughs that uh ah dinner box ah, ha, ha. okay um partial playthroughs and i don't that they didn't actually finish the game um torch hey okay we're making progress um obviously I, I will not be finishing it tonight because it is Almost midnight, and I don't think, and I think it's like an eight-hour game. Come on, just give me things I need, like oil. Perfect. Perfect. Another tinder box. Great, great. Okay, so just so that I'm not crazy out of my ass going back and forth um okay so there's the explosion i came through there's that and we're back to here okay okay there's a door here let's close that so i know that i have not explored there uh do we see any other things ain't nothing wrong with being a little kooky yeah, not at all exactly we all know that that I have absolutely no sanity in real life up here more parts machinery okay um
This game has actually gotten me, has actually gotten me a couple of times. Um, surprisingly. Um, oil, yes please. Uh, there was a jump scare where I opened a thing and a bunch of skulls fell out. And it just, and it actually straight up caused me to freak out a little bit. So, you know. Game is doing great. box that I missed. I'll take that, please. All right, now, I should have no reason to come back in these rooms. So we'll close this. How am I doing on oil? I'm not doing too bad. I could be doing a lot better, but I'm not doing too bad. Let me light a light over here so that this room isn't so dark. Do I have anything else to light around here? Specifically, torches. Oh, right, there's a candle there. How am I doing? Three more, okay. I'll do one here. Yeah, that should be good enough. Yeah, there we go, okay. Uh, we'll leave that going. We'll ignore those two candles for now. How am I doing on oil? It could be a lot better. Uh, all right. go for this torch. Is there anything over here? There was a candle. Okay. Your boxes, oil? No? Okay. That was just unnecessary. In case of a missing rod, if a full set of three rods is unavailable, there is one rod in the inner study rooms which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it is absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. I'ma just come over here and hide.
Wouldn't it be nice if we had oil? Cause then we could have a lantern. Conscious, fuck me. How did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? Hey, Matt, you, you still there? To, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we planned. Matt, you still there? after midnight but um i want to get this third rod before i uh you know forget Geometry. I've already been in here and I've already looted it for a lot of what it's worth. Yep. Um. Yeah, there's a cave in over there. Actually, I'm not going to take the time to fucking dig through there. Uh, yes, I want to save and exit. All right. Thank you all for hanging out with me while I played this game for the first time. It's really good. I can feel I could feel the atmosphere and all of that. It, I'm dead inside, so I don't feel shit. But I can I can see the atmosphere. I can I feel all of the creep that's supposed to be there, even though it's not really affecting me. Um, this game has done really well in that it's gotten me twice. Um, Actually, it might have gotten me three. I might count that when the monster showed up a bit ago as a third time. We'll, we'll, we'll be generous and say that it got me three times um, so far. So that's pretty great. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to play more of it. However, before we do that, tomorrow, I will be joining Melador 219, Mahler and Friends with uh, uh uh over on either phasmo or forewarned i forget which we were doing <clears throat> but that'll be tomorrow night at uh what do we say 8 p.m eastern 7 p.m central so an hour earlier than my normal streams and then so we'll be doing a lot of, we'll be having a lot of fun and streaming that and yeah um do i have any other announcements no not really uh if you uh, to find uh, Melador219, right, he's right here. Uh, check out Yvonne B as well, who was in chat earlier. Uh, and check out the rest of these amazing people listed up here. They're all great. Uh, I have even more suggestions in my link tree below, in which, uh, which is also where you'll find links for my socials, my Discord, my Patreon, where you can support me, my YouTube, where you can find all my pri uh, prior streams and even my future streams. Um, and... 
and yeah, uh, that's Linktree, uh, linktra.ee slash K-R-I-M-Z-O-N-K-N-I-G-H-T. <sighs> um, thank you all again for tuning in, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you all tomorrow night. Um, trying to think if I have anything else. Nope. Remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out.